Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I will be growing some crystals and then I will be making molds. So first of all, I have my distilled water ready here. And this is my ammonium potassium sulfate. So the quantity here is like that. If you're taking one cup of, uh, of crystals to that, you add one and a half cup of water. So my water is already warm here. It is actually really warm. So to this, as I told you that I'm going to add one cup of the crystals. I will link everything in my description because this uh, topic is always in demand. Everyone likes to make and grow their own crystals. So believe me, making mold from these crystals is the original thing and you get the amazing results. So I have already poured the crystals. Now I'm going to mix it. So the thing is that you need to make a highly concentrated solution. So by far the best crystals that uh, any solution can make is from this alum powder or alum crystals. So this is uh, the scientific name. Uh, I'm just taking a normal name that with alum is something that we use in our kitchens also. So now it's going to take me some time to dissolve this. So I will be keep on mixing. So later on I poured this mixture into another glass dish that was a bit on the flatter side and I left this for around two days and after two days I will be showing you what are the results. So this is the result after two days and I get a very good quality crystals now so now it's time to make the mold and for my mold I'm going to use a tea expert silicon so they recently introduced their silicon and uh, I will link everything in my description and along with this I will be showing you some more molds this is part one of the series so i think i will be making two more two to three more videos on this topic and i will show you if you see, can see that there the purple crystals in that glass dish i will be showing you how i made those because they are really unique so make sure to watch the next video because in the next video i will be showing you how I, how I grew those crystals and i will show you the results also but for now we will be revealing this one so the silicon was really amazing it was on the low viscosity side so men meaning that it is self-leveling no bubbles and it took one day to cure and here we go you got you get such a beautiful inlay and this is the inlay here sparkly and plus now you can make it's really up to you how many inlays you want to make with these crystals because they are really intact over there and you will get same crystals so now it's the time to use the inlay that i made this time i thought i'll create something different uh, usually we create something round and just show you this time i am going a little bit different so this is my monster leaf mold and again i will link that in my description from where i got this mold i really love the design of this one so i have mixed my resin and here i'm using the deep pour resin by dt expert so when you're making something a crystal or a drizzy you make sure that you use a resin that is low viscosity but i here use a very low viscosity that is the deep pour and this is meant for making tables and i think floors also so this has very low chances of having any bubbles and plus when your uh, results and result that you have is always so clear amazing and you don't need any sort of uh, expensive pots for those who uh, can't afford this is this resin is amazing just make sure you just warm the up the part a before mixing so then there is i um, i just recommend that around 95 per, uh, 5% of no bubbles are there in your resin so i am pouring very slowly the resin into the mold and then i will be adding some fantasy paper just to give a little bit of interest and here I'm pouring the uh, little bit of darker shade of purple in the center. So, so this is my way of pouring slow and steady. And a little bit of heat gun to eliminate any bubbles that rise on top. And here I'm adding the fantasy paper. This is not the normal cellophane paper. It is a fantasy paper that is meant for making dragon wings or fairy wings. And plus a lot of lot of things can be done with these. And already I have a lot of videos. And I'm just cutting them thinly into smaller pieces.
and this is done now and now it's time to put the inlay because this mold is a bit on the different side it has some ups and downs so we will see how this turns out so from the center i will be putting this tweezy and then i will be slowly release, releasing it So as I explained that it is a monstera leaf and it is not so flat on the surface so there will be some something happening happening I'm sure. So I'm just carefully checking if there are any bubbles. And fingers crossed and I will leave this to cure and I will see you next day. But there is something I have done here so this is a curing machine and I put this mold into the curing machine because I wanted to cure it really fast usually it takes two days but in this machine it took one day so I am just going to open it and I will set it so I think I put this around for four hours and we will see you next day so this is the next day it is cured now so let's see how this turns out really really excited and also very confused also so first of all i'm going to demold the leaf out of the mold and then we will remove the inlay to see the final result And now I'm going to remove the resin lay and we will see the final result. And here we go. So I got a little bit of overspill here and there. I will remove that but all in all it is really fun to always remove the resin lay. You can see the sparkles on, in, on this leaf. So as I explained that there is a little bit of overspill. I'm going to clean that up and this is the front side. So I have never made a leaf like this before but this was really fun. Just some final touches and I will show you the final result. So I added a little bit of gold foil just to give some extra touch. So this is mirror gold by the way. It is a bit different from gold foil because it is create less mess uh, in difference to if you use a gold foil it will go everywhere but this one is a bit easy to work with so adding the gold foil did made, made it a bit uplifting so now we will see the final result get ready so this is the final result Already I was so in love with this leaf because it was really amazing on its own but a hint of trizy effect and just the crystal clear resin everything comes out to be really perfect so so keep on watching the next video because I am sure that you will love those crystals and I am in love myself so that's it for today everything will be in my description with discount codes and if you like to treat yourself so like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and take good care of yourself bye bye